Hi guys, welcome to Statistics. My name is Eduardo Barajas and I'm going to be your instructor. In this video, you're going to get some information about our book as well as an online learning management system called My Math Lab. Okay, so first of all, our book is this guy. It's Statistics Informed Decisions Using Data, the fifth edition. There's a fourth edition, third edition out there, but we're using the fifth edition. Um, and our author is Michael Sullivan III. Okay, so first of all, there's a few options for your book, and it can get a little confusing, so hopefully this video will, will uh, uh, clear things up for, every, for everybody. Okay, so the first option is going to be to go to our El Camino College bookstore and buy our book from there. Now, when you go there, there are two options. You can buy it brand new or you can buy it used. And unfortunately, for this class, you have to buy the new one, which is a little more expensive, I know. But uh, the reason why you have to buy the new one is because the new one comes with this thing. It's in a student, uh, a student access kit. Uh, and inside, you will find a student code. So if you pop it open, you rip up this tab here. It's just the password. Okay, there's really nothing special about this pamphlet. There isn't like a DVD or anything like that in here. All it is is a way for you to get a password. So when you buy it from our bookstore, this guy will be probably inside the cover or one of the guys in there and then shrink wrapped to make sure nobody steals it. Uh, sometimes it's in the back, kind of like this way, shrink wrapped. Um, it also goes by the name of My Stat Lab, same thing. Uh, so either a My Math Lab a student access kit or a My Stat Lab, either one is fine. So that's the first option. You buy it brand new from our bookstore, not the used one because the used one does not have this guy. Brand new from our bookstore uh, and you'll have our textbook and you'll have this guy which has again that student access code that you're going to need to open an account with My Math Lab, the online learning management system which contains all of your homework and some quizzes that you have to do. So it's required for you to have this account, okay? All right, so that's the first option. The second option is gonna be to maybe just buy this thing by itself. You, you could ask our, uh, somebody that works at a bookstore. Sometimes they have these like behind the counter. They're not out there in where the books are. Uh, so you can ask them if they just have this student access kit by itself for sale. Again, it's either my Math Lab Student Access Kit or my Stat Lab. Either one would be fine. And of course, it'll be a little cheaper to just get this guy by itself and not get the actual physical copy of the book. Whether you get it, you know, with the book or by itself, either way, you'll have access to the online learning management system. That access is exactly the same. So you'll get the same content. And on that account, on that website, through the internet, they will also have a complete electronic copy of the book. So that's why you can get away with just buying this guy by itself so that you can open your online account uh, and then you'll have an actual, uh, you'll have access to an electronic copy of the book. So whether you get the physical copy of the book or whether you decide, I just want the online access to the, to the book, um, you're still required to read the book and to study from the book. Um, so it's up to you. Uh, also, the online account will allow you to print pages from the book. So some people, for instance, like to print out chapter one and they print it all out and that way we study chapter one and they have uh, a physical copy of the book, you know, that they printed out. And they like the option of being able to maybe write notes because it's just paper as opposed to a book. You know, it's, it's up to you. Uh, also, they don't have to carry a big thick book because they're just doing one chapter at a time. It's another option. But on the downside, that's a lot of printing. You know, the book has about 900 pages, so that could be a lot of printing. It's up to you. So those are the first two options. You could get brand new book, shrink wrap, access to the online, and a physical copy of the book. Second option could be to just uh, ask for this thing. You can buy it at our bookstore, or you can buy it online. Um, so Amazon or anywhere else that you'd like, uh, you can buy this thing. Just be careful because this is just a password. It's a one-time use password. So if someone has already used this password, it's not good anymore. So make sure you don't get scammed. Uh, you can always call their 1-800 um, number and ask them if this were, this password is still good uh, or if there's an issue with it um, before, before you buy. 
Um, there might be some other students that you know that maybe took a math class of any kind. It doesn't have to be a statistics class. Uh, and in their course, maybe they got one of these things, but they never used it. Maybe that class wasn't taking advantage of the online learning system. Then you might be able to use their access kit. So again, if you have any trouble, you can call their 800 number and ask them. So those are your two options so far. The third option would be to just buy the online account directly through them. So you don't actually have to buy one of these pamphlet password things. You can just go directly to their uh, website and uh, type in your information. And at some point, it'll either ask you for the password or um, it'll ask you for credit card information so you can pay them. Uh, it's it, the prices vary a little bit, so you're gonna have to do a little bit of you know digging around to see which is the best option for you and which you know which is the better price. Um, and the last option, which I recommend to everybody, is that there is a two-week uh, temporary trial period that you can get. That doesn't cost anything, obviously. It'll just give you complete access to everything online for two weeks, um, and it's it's a great way to to get started on it and make sure that you really do want to keep this class and uh, it doesn't require you to make any any money commitment up front you can just play around with it for two weeks uh, every time you log in it'll just ask you you know do you want to pay me today do you want to give us an access code today if you say no it'll just keep a countdown you have 13 days left you have eight days left and so on and so forth when you get all the way down to zero it just won't let you uh, log in anymore until you either give them a credit card and pay for it or type in uh, a password to show them that somehow you've you know paid for it okay so those are your options so next we're going to talk about how to register for my math lab okay to register for my math lab begin by opening your internet browser I'm using Google Chrome for instance On the address bar, you're going to type in the web address, www.coursecompass.com. Now, over the years, their address has changed a little bit, but I've stuck to coursecompass.com. Uh, the company still owns that address, but when you type in coursecompass.com, it automatically redirects you to their new web address name, which is www.pearsonmylabandmastering.com. So when you type in Course Compass, you'll see that it automatically takes you to this address, which is perfectly okay. Or if you want to type in this address directly, that would be fine. But me personally, I still like typing in uh, www.coursecompass.com. Okay, so this is their main page for, for the company. The very first time that you come here, you're going to have to do this, and you're only going to do this the first time. So you're going to hit register as a student. This is letting you know the three things that you're going to need to be able to open an account or, or create an account for our class. You're going to need an email address. You're going to need a uh, instructor's course ID, which I will provide for you, uh, either through an email or when you come to class, I will give it to you. But I will provide this for you. And the third thing you're going to need is a student access code. That's that little password that you got in that pamphlet when you bought the book brand new. Or if you just bought the pamphlet by itself, option two, then you have that password as well. You could have gotten that through a friend or if you just bought that pamphlet on your own. Or the uh, third option would be to just pay them directly, which would be uh, to, to use a credit card or through PayPal. And then finally, there will be an option to get a two-week free trial uh, when we go down, down this path. Okay, so these are the things you need. Click OK, register now. Next, you're going to type in the course ID number that I will provide for you. It will be my last name, followed by some numbers. Continue. Here you will be given a couple of options. Okay, so if you already have an account with uh, my math lab, then you already have a username and password. You can type it in at this point and sign in. If you forgot it, then go through the process of the I forgot my username and password and then you'll be able to recover it. If you're having trouble, then you can call this 800 number and ask for help. Do not create a separate account because then you'll have two accounts in the system and you don't want that. 
Uh, also, this is a good time to point out that if you have already taken this course before, if you're repeating the course and you are using the same textbook now that you did before, then uh, you won't have to pay for my math lab a second time. So if you've used my math lab before for this same class with this same book, then at this point it'll remember, oh, you've already taken this course from, from uh, using this textbook. It doesn't have to be the same instructor, just the same course uh, with the same textbook, then it will remember. On the other hand, if you took this same course and you use my math lab, but you used a different textbook, then it won't, um, uh, it won't be free. You'll have to repay for the whole thing. Sorry. But if it was the same textbook, then you won't have to pay. It'll, uh, it'll remember. Okay. And that's when, that's how the system will know when you log in through here. If you feel you shouldn't have to pay because you did use the same book, uh, for the same course uh, and it's not recognizing it, then you can call that 800 number and ask for help. For everyone else that has never used this before, you're going to have to create an account. Okay, so you click onto here and then you just fill out this information. You need an email address, any email address that you have uh, that you are going to check. It doesn't have to be your school email address. When you type in your email address, it'll automatically use that as your username. I think that's a pretty good idea. Or uh, you could just erase the handle of it and then just keep that as your username as long as it's you know available and no one has used it before. Or you can just delete the whole thing and try coming up with uh, a username. Of course, it's gotta be a unique one that no one's ever used before. So you can just try, try different ones until you run into one. Okay, next you gotta come up with a password. So uh, it gives you information. It's got to be at least eight characters. Uh, um, use at least one letter, at least one number. At least one has to be a capital letter. Do not use the name or username from your account. And uh, do not use spaces or special characters is what it's informing you that you have to do. So next you type in your first name and your last name. And then answer some security questions. Uh, what is your father's middle name? Dad. Okay, uh, next you have to uh, accept their license agreement. So you have to collect that one. This one I think is optional. I want, I want to help improve Pearson products. Okay, so that one's optional, but you definitely have to choose this one. And then you can create the account. Okay, so at this stage, you have three options available to you. The first option is going to be the access code path. This access code is going to be that password that you got in that pamphlet. And there are two ways to get that pamphlet. Either it came shrink-wrapped brand with your brand new book, or maybe you just bought that pamphlet by itself from a friend who took a math class before and they never used it, or you bought it online, or you went to the bookstore and asked for the pamphlet by itself. Either way, you have some sort of uh, access code. You click onto there, and then it'll ask you to type in that password. So it's a long string of, of uh, words, and you just type it in, and then you're done. If you're having trouble, if you have an access code and you're having trouble, then call that 800 number. The other option is going to be for you to purchase it directly from them. Uh, and in this case, as you can see, the, the price would be $104.95. So you're going to have to use a credit card or PayPal to pay for it. Um, and remember that either path will lead to the same online content. It'll have all the homework, all the quizzes, and an electronic copy of the textbook. Do not do both methods. you got to pick one or the other. So if you went through this method, you already have an electronic, uh, I'm sorry, a physical copy of the book and a password so you can have access to the online account. And if you go through this path, that means you are choosing to not have a physical copy of the textbook. You're going to live with just the online uh, access to this account, and it has an electronic copy of the book. Okay. Uh, however, for everybody, I would recommend this option, this little guy down here. Um, get a temporary access without payment for 14 days. If you click this, it will allow you to open an account for two weeks, and you'll have complete access to the homework, to the quizzes, to the online book, everything for 14 days. That way you can 
make sure that you will, you, you really do want uh, to stay in the class and that you uh, you know have a, a little bit more time to decide whether you want a physical copy of the book or if just the online content by itself is going to be enough for you. So I highly recommend that everybody go through this path. Let's click there. Yes, we are confident. We want the temporary. And that's it. It'll uh, create your account. You can go to your course. So let us log out immediately. Let me log out here, sign out. And let's just go through the whole process one more time. So you only had to do that the first time. From now on, uh, if you want to do your homework, you're going to go to coursecompass.com. Right, that, that was this page right here. You only do this the one time, so you're never going to have to do that again. From now on, you're just going to sign in. You already have a username and password. So I'm going to sign in. I had that username. It was that thing. Um, it, it, it was my email address at Gmail, but then I just took off that the rest of it. And then I had a password. And then I can sign in. There you go. Okay, so this initial uh, page will contain uh, a library of all the different courses that you've taken with my math lab. So uh, if you in a future semester take a different class, then a little box here will appear with all the content from that course. Or if in the past you've taken one, then again, one of these guys will appear on here. So for us, we are uh, working with this one. So click on there, and then that'll take you to the actual course content for this class. This is where you're going to be doing your homework and your quizzes and everything. Okay, so the next video will cover uh, how to use my math lab. This one was just on how to register for my math lab.